Today is a great day. I'll give you one guess why. Oh man, what a game. What a game, what a game. Brady came through again. The running backs were great. Big catches by Gronk when we needed them. Edelman a beast, as always. Yeah, what a game. So Brady, yeah, I think we just call him the GOAT. AKA the GOAT, because he is the greatest of all time, by far. He broke another, another record last night. He's now the only QB to win three games in overtime in the playoffs. Just another record to add. So here I am, the day after the storm in the morning, talking to you guys. I did not get called out. I can't believe it. I was more sure about this one than anyone, and I did not get called out. We didn't get like, well look at the ground. We got like two inches of snow and then a ton of rain, which we were supposed to get. We got some high winds, but they weren't as bad as what they were predicting. And other areas, um, you know, like up in New Brunswick and stuff, I haven't checked the weather yet. I haven't checked the, haven't checked the news yet, but uh, it was a snow event. They didn't get a lot of wind up there, but there was, you know, central New Brunswick was supposed to get like three hours of freezing rain from like nine o'clock last night to 12 o'clock and all that weight on the trees and the lines usually brings that stuff down, but it couldn't have been that bad. We only lost a few sites and most of them are back up now. So pretty, pretty good. But yeah, we got a lot of rain. Like take a look at my yard. My yard is like a lake right now. Here's my pond, my little pond that I built. Look at the water coming out of those pipes. Just steaming out of those pipes. And yeah, there's usually not water over here. But yeah, it's like a lake right here, right now. All right, all right. So a few guys yesterday commented and said they, they like this sort of view, but it'd be nice if it was lower. So I have an extension that I have on here right now. The only problem when you use the extension, the camera kind of gets flimsy and shakes a little bit. So hopefully it's not too bad coming through on that end. But yeah, I mean the day after the storm, it really was not bad. We were planning for the worst. And it didn't end up happening that way. So you can see there's absolutely nothing here whatsoever. It was a lot of rain for us. It's hard to believe though, this time yesterday everything was white. You know, there was a couple inches of snow on the ground and I was out there making making the driving videos in the snow for you guys. But I got my main man one bullet in the back with me. He actually just slobbered on my seat a little bit, I can see there. Yeah, he was watching where we were going. He's in the back. Um, he had a little bit of a setback on his on his surgery. A week ago Saturday, we were outside because we were just got to the point where we could take him for like uh, four 20 minute walks each day. And no idea what happened, but I mean, everything was icy. So he may have slipped or something while we were walking. Nothing stood out to me at all. But when he got inside, he was he was hobbling around, and he was picking he's picking his one leg up basically the whole time when he was inside, and it just didn't get better at all. So uh, Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday, I took him to the vet, and I wanted to get an X-ray done because obviously in my mind, worst thing, worst case scenario was in my mind that something happened with the surgery, the screws popped out, the plate popped out, the bone separated or something. So I took him in expecting the worst. We got the results from the x-ray back and everything looked great on the x-ray. So they think he just did, has like a soft tissue tear or something, he tore a muscle. But he's gonna go back in this week for a follow-up. So, you know, bad news that he's he's set back and he's he's limping around because he was getting really good. But good news that he didn't completely destroy the surgery and have to have it done all over again. So. Hopefully it will start looking up because uh, we definitely want to, you know, be on schedule to bring our other dog home because we definitely miss our other dog, Tony. That's for sure. But just that's just a little update on Mr. Wendell. Probably get a little shot of him here after a bit, but he's in the back sleeping on his blanket. Man, it's getting sunny out. Like, I should have brought my sunglasses. It wasn't like this at all when I left. It was actually flurry. 
trees. So you can see there's some ice in the ocean. Uh, we had some extremely cold weather before this storm hit. It was really weird, like it was super, super, super cold in the morning and that night before, and that's when the snow started. And it was like minus 14 that morning and then by five o'clock it was plus nine. Like that is crazy. And then now it was plus nine yesterday, it's going down to minus 20 tonight. So there's a flash freeze warning. So our weather's just been crazy. Um, but it's been really cold, so you can see the water in the ocean, and from the wind and the storm, it, it broke a lot of that ice up. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this view. I'll definitely, if you like it, I'll definitely use it. Use it some more in the future, like I just hit a bump there, and I don't know how it's coming through on your guys' end, but I'm watching the camera, and it's, it's bobbing around a little bit, so hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully it's not too bad coming through the screen. How did you guys make out? Like, how did you guys all make out with that storm? I know I got a few comments. People like uh, people down in Boston, they got you know seven inches of snow, and then they got some ice, and then they got some rain. Uh, Philadelphia, by the sounds of it, was all rain. You know, how did you guys make out? What did you guys experience in the storm? I definitely gonna watch the news later to see how how New Brunswick made out because parts of New Brunswick was calling for like two to three feet of snow. So here it is, the 21st of January, and we have no snow on the ground whatsoever. But people don't get too excited if you're from this area, because what was it, four or five years ago, this is basically what it was like. And then the last week in January and the first two weeks of February, we got absolutely hammered with snow. Like we had like seven feet of snow in a week, a week and a half. I was climbing over the fences going into the sites. I wasn't even able to use the doors. I was climbing over the fences. Like the snow was up like two feet below the fence line. And most of these fences are, are, are eight or 10 feet high. So it was a lot of snow. Beautiful spot. You know, we got the ocean, we got, we got, we got valleys. We have really good farmland. We have, the, we have everything. It's, it's a really nice place. Anyone watching these videos, if you're from the States or wherever you are, over in Europe, uh, I got a couple of guys like down in Mexico and Puerto Rico. And a guy from Puerto Rico the other day bragging about how he was laying on the beach and he ran under sunscreen and, you know, just giving me a hard time because it was so cold and the storm was coming and stuff. But if you guys ever want to come to a beautiful place for, for a visit, you know, come to the Maritimes, come check it out. Rent a car and drive, just drive. Drive, visit the beaches, visit everything that we have to offer. It's, it's a nice it's a nice spot. Yeah, the waves are crashing in pretty good, still. And the tide's not even high right now. Little beach right here, it's water on both sides. And then basically like this bar that goes right through. Yeah, it's all rock there right now, the sands. All the rocks are washed up on the on the beach. So I assume the beach we're going to is gonna look the same. There's probably not gonna be a whole lot of sand. It's probably gonna be all rock right now. But the big question is, did the breakwater work? And did moving the road back further from the beach work? Because like I said, this, this has happened a few times down here. Uh, Hurricane Juan, it was really bad, and then last year we had a storm that was really bad. I, I have a video that I made. Man, there's some crazy waves coming in there right now. Holy cow. Right there off that point. Here it got basically destroyed again. And they they seem like they finally made up their mind and just said, alright, let's let's bite the bullet and let's let's fix it up the way that it should have been done to begin with. So we're gonna see here in a second worked. If you were a surfer today, yeah, here's some debris across the road, bunch of beach rock, bunch of beach rock there. Yeah, it was coming in. There's some waves. If you were a surfer today, man, you'd be having some fun. I guarantee you down in Lawrencetown and a few places down along that way, down in Jador and stuff, there's definitely some guys out, out uh, surfing today catch some really good waves. 
far, it looks good. Alright guys, hopefully you can hear me because it's pretty rough and it's uh, pretty windy here right now, but it did the trick. It held up. It held up really good. So what used to happen here was the road used to go right along right here. Oh yeah, there's a good one. Oh man. Yes sir. So the road used to go right, right along here. This is where the asphalt was. And the parking lot used to be back here. Well, they moved it, the off-wall, and they created this break wall, this breakwater. There used to be no breakwater here whatsoever. It was just beach and a few rocks, but nothing like this whatsoever. And then the road, the parking used to be back here. And this, this was all asphalt through here, like a lane of asphalt. And it used to just get torn up and torn up and torn up. Well, now they just graveled it, which is one good idea. Why waste the money to do asphalt and it just be torn up all the time? And this huge breakwater and they moved it back. So they did it. They did a good job and it's, it's holding up. It's really holding up. And you can see, you know, right now the tide's not even high and it's not that windy out. You know, last night it was extremely windy and the tide would have been up. And you can see how high the water is coming up right now, almost right up to my feet. I'm standing here. So last night it was definitely crashing up here. So you can't even see sand right now. This is usually like all sand. The water is nice and turquoise. Right now you don't see any of that. Here comes a good one. Oh man. I wish I was a surfer. If I had to have one hell of a nice warm, uh, water suit though that's for sure but yeah that's that's there's some good waves oh like another good one brewing right there oh is it gonna die off no that's a good one oh yeah look at this <laughs> oh yeah I could stand here and watch this all day but no hey it did good it did really good it's a job well done Damn, that looks good sitting there, eh? Alright guys, well I guess that's it for today. Storm wasn't bad after all. But you get to see, you know, a little bit of the landscape that we got here. A little bit of the uh, power of the ocean for sure. And, uh, yeah. Somehow I never got called out for work. There'll be more, don't worry. It's the middle of January, or getting towards the end of January. February is the, is the scary month. February is the big one. But as always guys, hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for lots more videos to come. Still something I haven't showed you guys yet. Waiting for the right time. Waiting for the right time. All right guys, everyone have a great day. Take care, see you later, bye.